Next, the city leaders are preparing to vote on the city's pension plan that could eliminate billions of dollars in debt. Others want the vote to be delayed so that taxpayers can get a better look at the plan. Our Kathy Hernandez joining us live from City Hall this morning with more on the plan. Kathy? Good morning. In just a couple of hours, as city council members are expected to vote on this deal here at City Hall. The mayor says it's fair to city employees and taxpayers, but someone now is trying to stop that vote. 15 years. That's how long a battle has raged with the city's pension fund. This week, Mayor Sylvester Turner says the city, firefighters, police, and city employees have come to an agreement. I think we have devised a system that is very fair. Fair to taxpayers, because there's no tax rate increase in it. It's cost neutral and fair to our employees. He says a plan would reduce unfunded pension liability by more than 30 percent or $7.8 billion without raising taxes. But State Senator Paul Bettencourt says taxpayers need more time to learn the exact cost. I'm calling publicly for a, at least a one week delay in the uh, in this decision because this is something that requires scoring. It requires accurate information, and above all, it requires the public to actually understand what the obligations are being proposed under this agreement. And once city council members vote on that here today, it would then go to state lawmakers for approval. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.